Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this eye look um, and using the lip switch in this tutorial. I cannot speak already. That's not good. Anyways, um, I did purchase these items recently. I think it was like Black Friday. I just went ballistic. Not that any of those were necessarily on sale. But I am doing this eye look in the Celestial Glitter. And um, I am using the Sigma Palette Smoke Screen. I use a lot of different colors on that. And I tried out the Lip Switch. This color is in Flip Flop. So if you want to see how I got this eye look and using the Sigma Flip Flop along with a review on all the products, stay tuned. Let's get started using the Sigma Smoke Screen Palette. So I kind of went on, and I'm really glad my husband doesn't watch any of my videos, um, but I went on a massive, probably, I'm not going to totally admit to it, um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, and you would not, I don't even want to show what I bought but Sigma was part of that shopping tour so we are going to use this little lovely palette um, and we're going to start with this color here which is called Veiled and I wish they would I don't know seems backwards to me but that's okay we're going to start with Veiled this morning We're just going to push this all over the eyelid. And I have never used Sigma eyeshadows. Um, so this will be a new experience for me. I'll be right back. I've got a whiny pup. This is the whiny pup. She likes being in the girls' room, but she's got to be on her princess bed. And since she's got a little arm that is kind of deformed, she can't really jump that high, so she might. I think we're going to stay in the peachy zones. We'll use this one for our highlighter. Or our transition color, I should say. So it's got a shimmer tone to it, which it looks, doesn't look like it's shimmery in the pan. That's okay. We're going to bring this down almost into our inner corner there. All right, we're going to darken up the crease. And that second color we just used was called Opulent. Now we are going to use Thunderhead. And we're going to come in just a little bit on the inner corner, but in from, what color was that? In a little bit from opulent so we have the opulent going on the basically the whole corner whole outer edge and then we're going to build up the darker on the inner kind of creating a halo effect hello almost sounds like Swedish for hello. Now I'm just going to take one of my Morphe's. This is a 510 brush and I'm just going to sweep all these colors together. Okay, and I also bought some glitter. This one is called Celestial by Sigma. And look at how that turns colors. Woohoo! 
that's what we're going to put on the middle of our halo. Um, I am going to use, if I can get this bottle open, some Ben Nye glitter glue. And I'm just going to put that on the center where um, I have no eyeshadow, basically on the middle of our halo. You know, it is kind of scary when you use something that says it's highly flammable, but it's on your eye. I don't think I read that up until now. That can't be good. All right, so we're going to go back in with the Sigma Celestial Glitter. I'm going to use my finger to pick some of that up. And as you can see, ooh. This looks like mermaid glitter. This would have been great at Halloween. All right, so we have some celestial glitter, mermaid-esque, on the eyelid. And I'm going to go ahead and, even though we did a, a bit of a halo, now I'm going to darken up the eye a bit because that's just what I do. My skin is so, so pale that I just really have to darken up some of the makeup elsewhere. All right, we're going to use my tardiest um, two-sided pencil, and we are going to use the pencil side and darken up our waterline. Let's go with this bad boy since I already got it in my hand. So we're going to apply the Sephora colorful wink it felt liner this little guy right here And my eyes looked really, really closed and tiny, so we are going to open those up a bit. Um, so on the lower lash line, I'm going to take this Morphe 41, R41 brush, and we're going to use some of this Thunderhead to go on the lower lash line. And that little glitter is everywhere on my cheeks. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a smokiness going on down there, which is a little bit helpful. Um, and now we're going to bring in some black. This one is called Almost Jet. So we're going to use that right here. And it goes on super pigmented.
Now using an angled brush, I'm going to pick up, and that one's got a lot of fallout. Some of these other ones didn't have as much fallout as that Almost Jet. But we're going to use some Almost Jet on an angled brush, and we're going to go, we're going to meet and bring this in. And I was so excited. I thought these things didn't have a lot of fallout, but the jet does. So I'm going to have to have clean up, aisle eyeball. So now I am going to go back in with some opulent, which was this pe peachy color here. And I'm just going to kind of go over the black to fill in um, and soften any hard edges from the black. Next, I will take this color from Winky Lux. This was in one of my beauty boxes. It's called Light. I don't know where they came up with that name. <laughs> okay, so we're going to highlight with light right up underneath our eyebrow. And we will dab some on the inner corner. Now my dreaded um, mascara, because you know I get mascara everywhere. It's not a video unless I have like a blob or two or three. So we're going to use the Lash Sensational Waterproof for my under eyes, under eyelashes, the lashes, the lower ones. top for eyelash shows we are ooh decisions I guess we'll just stay with the lash sensational by Maybelline it's a toss-up because it superhero is kind of a superhero of mascaras there we go we knew it was gonna happen Every day I go in thinking today is going to be my day that I do not get mascara on my face. I go in positive. Got to have a positive outlook if you want a positive result. So far that positive result hasn't happened yet. For the most part if you let your little black daubs from eye mascara dry you can pretty much just use the tweezers to pull it off as you saw I did so that is totally helpful okay so I am going to highlight one other piece and then um, we're gonna come back and after I fix my flat hair and give it a little bit of something um, I want to go over kind of a review with y'all so as the last piece you can see I already have my uh, a base lip color on and the Sigma um, lip switches have been huge. So I thought, I'll get one. Now they only had one left on their website. So I thought, okay, well, we'll try it. And if I'm like in love with lip switch, I'll go seek out the other ones. So I'm going to put this on so you can see it. And then again, when we do the review, I'll give you a little bit more of my thoughts. Um, so... So there is the lip switch, and this one is in flip-flop. Now with that said, I'll be right back. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day. Okay, so we are going to go into my review on these products. Um, what did I like? What didn't I like? So, the Sigma palette did really well. Um, everything stayed without a whole lot of fallout, as you saw, until I got to the black and then we start getting a little bit more of a fallout um, but all the rest of them blended real nice not a lot of fallout did really great so I did like this little palette from Sigma called Smoke Screen. I would use this again um, the Celestial Glitter as you can see it is Celestial this actually would have been great for Halloween for a mermaid look um, I have purchased another one. It's called Bedazzle. This is a loose shimmer. And let me just swatch that real quick for you. Um, this one is like an orange or a rose, maybe with some orange undertones. So I'll be doing a look with that. Very excited about that. Um, so I did like the glitter. Um, and this um, loose shimmer actually does really well. Where the wah, wah, wah was the lip switch okay so the lip switch you have to be very careful when you're putting it on because if you put more than one stroke it starts blending together um but if you just leave it alone it does have that kind of iridescent look and i love iridescent i love metallics i love it all um but if you move your lips if you kind of do that if you drink coffee or any beverage or you eat suddenly the lip switch is no different than any other lip gloss so you get it on your teeth it loses that that look and i don't know about you ladies and gentlemen but when i put on my lips i use my lips i'm not gonna just stand there like a mannequin hoping to hell that this stuff doesn't blend together so as far as the lip switch goes I am so glad I didn't waste my money on purchasing more than one um, because these are an absolute, this this is called flip flop, flop these lip switches are. I hate it because um, I was absolutely excited. So I'm going to be taking this off because um, it just, it's not, it's just depressing. So that's going to be coming off. But anyways, everything else that I got from Sigma, I really liked and I would purchase again in other colors. So with that said, I hope you like this tutorial and review. Have a good one. Bye.